Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. Alright, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we are solving a problem from Geotech. The problem states find the lateral force per unit length of the retaining wall. So that must be pounds per foot. The wall is at rest. And we're given a Q, which is a surcharge load. So this is like a car or something. Distributed load, 100 pounds per foot squared. Unit weight of the soil is 120 pounds per cubic foot. 29 degrees is the friction angle. And cohesion is zero. There's our wall, 12 feet in depth. So how are we going to solve this? All right, first thing we need to look at is our surcharge load. So what's happening behind this wall is you're getting a force acting on the retaining wall that looks like this. Okay, this is our surcharge load. And the value of this is going to be, well, the key, another key component about this wall is that it says it is at rest. And if you are solving this using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, Chapter 37 deals a lot with um, retaining walls. But because this is at rest, there's things called coefficients of active earth pressure coefficient, passive, and at rest. Ka, Kp, K0. And we are going to be using K0 because it was told it told us the wall was at rest. So we're going to use K0 and in the civil engineering reference manual if you look at equation 37.21 it gives us k naught is 1 minus sine of phi so let's go ahead and solve for that 1 minus sine of 29 degrees that gives me 0 0.515 equals k naught okay so the surcharge load What's, what it's doing behind the retaining wall is it's um, giving us a force that looks like this. It's distributed and it's basically a rectangle. And the value of this is going to be, you always have to apply your, your factor depending on what kind of wall conditions you're dealing with. In this case it's a wall at rest so it's K0 times Q times the height of the wall. That's the value of this. But we also have to account for the soil, and the soil is a triangular load here. Okay, so it's acting along that retaining wall, and it looks like the loading looks like this. So the deeper you go, the more the load is. So the value of this down here, what's acting on it, is going to be K naught gamma H. K naught gamma H. Okay, so the resultant equals this plus uh, this and what I'm saying is the resultant is the resultant force of this guy which we'll call PQ and that's acting midway between there so that would be six feet plus you have a resultant coming from this triangular load and we're going to call that, I'll call it P gamma. Okay? And so that's what we need to solve for. So the resultant is going to be, let's just put an equal there and start solving this thing. The resultant is going to be PQ, which is just K naught QH plus the triangular load. And the resultant of that is the area of that triangular load. So one half the base, which is K naught gamma H gamma H times the height, which we'll just do H squared, one half BH squared. It's area of a triangle. Okay, so let's plug in all of our values. K naught is 0 0.515 times Q, which was 100 pounds per square foot times height, which was 12 feet, plus 0 0.5 times 0 0.515, which is K naught, times 
gamma, which was 120 pounds per cubic foot times h, which is 12 feet cubed, sorry, squared, not cubed. Okay, what does that give me? Multiply all that out, add it up, I get 5076, sorry, 5067.6, and the units is pounds per foot. So that gives us unit length of uh, force per unit length, okay? So 5067. So the closest answer there is A for this guy. So th this one isn't too tricky. If you're familiar with retaining walls, you know, study up on Chapter 37 in the Civil Engineering Reference Manual about how to solve these. If there was a water table here, that would change things. Um, might throw you off because of um, the surcharge. But uh, Chapter 37 has equations for surcharge loads and uh, basically how to apply those to this. But anyway, I hope this helped you out. Head to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam. Thanks, bye.